Your agent guy, Jen, uh... Hey everyone, Lazy Fire here. Welcome back to the new Colossus. Wyatt run, of course, still. Thought I had the right face. Uh, and... This is exciting, man. Venus yeah. Mm. I didn't see this before. It's a little weird, though. No? Champagne. Why Venus? Huh. Anyways, let's uh, get on with this. This is all stuff we've seen before. There's no new Wyatt content while on Venus. So, Nazi whore, rape and murder, murder your dirty race. Gotcha. Hell, that all right. You Nazi whore. You're a nice woman. Yeah. Welcome back, Hitler. By the way. You are a Nazi whore. I love the fucking sheepish grin. It's so good. You're. The sheep, like the. I will rape and murder you. The the reaction afterwards, the little hand thing, is so great. I just. Some of the animation, like I said, the animation in this game is really top notch, even in those CGI scenes. Um, yeah, I'm gonna murder your dirty race. I will murder your dirty race too. <coughs> it's so good. Die Worte waren richtig, ja. Aber sie haben anscheinend nicht die mindeste Ahnung von der Psyche eines Mannes wie William Josef Blatzkowitsch. Wie können sie sein, was sie nicht verstehen? Sie. Spielen sie die Rolle. Füllen sie, füllen sie, füllen sie die Rolle. A cold-blooded terrorist. That is what you are. So yeah, a Nazi whore. Uh, let me get back into this, uh, turning the volume down so I can hear myself talk. What are you going uh, to do? Just the animations. Just look at the way Hitler's holding the gun, the way his feet were moving a second ago. So Even now. German, innocent like, they do such a great been... job with the animations in this but game. German, uh, in all scenes, in all sequences. Getting... And it conveys so much. There's a lot of games out there now, even some of the ones I'm... Uh, playing, I'm playing Metal Gear Survive at the moment, for example, and like the animations in that game are very canned. They're not like amazing or anything like that, but it is a very different game with a very different uh, set of requirements there. But like the animations in that game versus the animations in this game, it, it's just worlds of difference. Uh, the little details, the way people move, and everything like that. It's just so. It's so different, and in this, it's so good. And you can even go back into uh, Wolfenstein, The New Order, and look at the animations in that game, and they're just not quite up to the standards this one has. And it's so weird to say that, because, I mean, a lot of the same people, a lot of the same technology. I just love that picture. That's a great picture. I have to remember to make that the thumbnail for this video. Um, it's just, it's very weird to describe, I guess, but there is a part of me that wanted to go do a, another playthrough of the new order just before starting this and maybe like stream it or something like that. So you could do a comparison real quick, but the scene takes place right even then I, the stuff that I've looked at. Uh, from my own playthrough from before it's just the animation just got so good in this game and I think it's probably because they did more full motion capture for this and I think that makes a world of difference in some of this stuff Ewing yeah why don't you start and look how he stepped right over You will each improvise a fight sequence, and uh, once the guard is eliminated, uh, you finish the scene by reading the lines from the cue card, exactly as written. Places and action. Oh, oh, oh stop, stop. Oh God, I'm bleeding, I'm bleeding. I also like how all these guys that we're in here with are, like, when they compare up to the, the guards, they're just shorter and smaller. I only know how to fight in a dirty manner. 
it, it's very interesting that that's a design decision. Like, the, the guards are more imposing than regular people are. Mr. Redfield, please. The floor is yours. <laughs> Unceremoniously murdered there. Anyways. Uh, so... Yeah. Mr. Redfield! No! Has she seen? Anyways. Um... Like I wasn't going to do that. Mr. Redfield. Is that what you wanted? Is that what you had in mind? You Nazi asshole. Cause that's all you're getting. I just love. Sorry, I had to play that out a little bit because uh, I absolutely love how BJ handles that sequence. All right. Uh, Use yourself, Adolf. I'm leaving here with your secret Odin codes. Then we steal the Osmerzer, take out General Engel, and show the American people what revolution looks like. We have beer here. Um... All right, let let us continue on our merry path of murder and mayhem. On oh yeah, right. We should kill this guy. Hey, what's up? Ooh. That's right, the Engel Room. Forgot about this. Uh, actually, real quickly, while we're here, I seem to recall I had, yeah. Uh, yes, we're gonna want this. I completely forgot that I had left that off for quite some time. And what are we doing here? Mm, good. Ooh, I only need one more throw kill? All right, good. And we're actually up in our damage with uh, the commander kills. We're doing pretty well on that, actually. I'm kind of surprised, considering I'm not exactly trying to do anything with that, with that regard now. Man, the constrictor harness for that sort of stuff is uh, really solid. That, that terror billy. This is the room with the dog, isn't it? Yeah, hi. I don't know why I threw a fucking hatchet at that guy, but I did it, damn it. Alright. I think I got a couple of them. Uh. Whoa! You know, in a bit of a hurry to get murdered there, friend. Get you by mistake. Who were you on? Yep. Easy mode is uh, a little nuts on that. All right, let's pick up our stuff. Or 
where's the other one? Uh, Alright. Game just decided I wanted to do this. That's fine. Uh, looks like this got cleared out pretty good. Hey. That was, uh, brutal even for me. We run down this way. I think this is actually, this is where one of the uh, Uber Commando areas was, by the way. I forgot that this was even open here. I thought this was closed off. So this is more me just exploring stuff because I can right now, rather than because I need to. Interesting. So yeah, that was a pretty easy sequence. Man, I forget there's a slide in this game. A good thing they got some uh, extra use out of the uh, Hitler-Lincoln statue. Good to see. Fuck you, Hitler head. Alright. Let's just uh, make sure we got all our ammo. Where were you hiding? Must have been one of these little rooms. Alright, let's see. No, don't need that. May as well take some health. It's not like I lost any there. And uh, let's continue on our murderous rampage, shall we? Tools for murderous rampage, excellent. Yes. Up. I mean, yeah, I could have done this silently, but whatever. No, get back here. No, this backpedaling bullshit. So the slide is uh, one of those things. I guess we should talk about that real quick. It's one of those things that is totally in this game that I never find a use for. There's not really a good reason to slide uh, unless you're trying to get into cover real quick. But you're probably not trying to get into cover real quick at any point in this game because you should either be in cover or be so secure that you don't need cover that uh, it's not a factor. So. Als ich auf der Venus eintraf, ging die Sonne auf. Ein unvorstellbar. We've already heard this conversation. No reason to make this any more protracted than it has to be. We have to get our asses down to Venus. Hi, friends. All right. Here it is. Not take it down to the surface. Let's uh, get ourselves down to the surface in the most BJ way possible. By beating the shit out of technology we don't quite understand. Space suit. We're definitely going to watch this. This is such a great sequence. They do such nice things with the camera in this game at times. And they did something similar in the New Order as well. But it's just, it's a little sequence, but it's so good. Yeah, we Hit it some more. Excellent. Good. That's how we like to play. Alright. Well, we've BJ'd our way down to the surface. Air feels heavy. Brutal heat. Like Texas in August. Time to break into the facility, find the over commando, steal the Odin codes for General Angle's ship. Slick as a whistle. And I don't know uh, if the coolant is going to go down at a different pace because of the difficulty mode I'm playing on or not. 
but I am going to just straight on assume that it won't. I feel like that's one of those things that the game is not going to uh, really relent on. Now, this guy here is actually part of the reason why I went and picked up the, uh, the sneaking, not the sneaking, whatever, uh, the, uh, armor piercing. Thank you, game. My head, whatever. Ooh. Yeah. I figured it would probably be smart to, uh, if I got caught by him, not have to, you know, have very little recourse, which is the current situation. All right. Oh, well, I guess he, uh, he might have actually had more of an OSHA style accident rather than a BJ style accident. Took him out. All right, almost there. Man, that guy, uh, a little hardier than I would have thought. Alright. So we just walked right through there. Excellent. That is exactly what we wanted to do. I'm very impressed with myself, if you, uh, couldn't tell. Oh, I don't have full armor? What the hell? Uh, picked up everything we can. Looks good. Let's get going. Oh. There we go. So yeah, that not not exactly a terribly difficult sequence, even on the more uh, the higher difficulty levels right there. But I just I screwed up when I came through here the first time, so. I kind of assumed I would be making a similar mistake there. Why do they give you this? They know that you're gonna wanna try to sneak. Well, maybe they know I don't wanna sneak, really. Who knows? Uh, but... Yeah. We'll come back for that in a second. I just don't wanna... There's that heat again. If I don't have to deal with... Ah, oh, fuck me. Alright. No, go down. Sit down. You've had, you've had enough. Good. Excellent. Nope. Nope. Let me, uh, fill up here. Yeah, the the amount of not playing that I'm doing at this point is uh, pretty high. Because, um, seriously, why would I want to get into a series of stupid fights with these guys if I don't have to? Um, one of the things about the combat in this game, it's really fun. Like, I'm not going to pretend it isn't for any period of time, because it really is. And on the easy difficulties, it's fun as well but listen if Damn, I'm burning up if I'm given the option of uh, doing something quick and doing something correctly doing it quick all right let's go get some coolant we're gonna murder this commander possibly silently but I might just wander in there and start shooting He's looking, uh, he's walking sideways. He's walking weird. He, uh, might be bugged out a little bit. Everything's fine, don't worry. Don't worry. Hey. <laughs> nah. Oh. Well, I mean, I killed the commander, so we are golden here. It's, uh, you know what? Haven't used this in a few 
minutes. Still pretty fun to use, not gonna lie. It's a little more cool. We're not gonna get ambushed by anybody because we took out the commander in a single shot because he was walking fucking sideways like a weirdo. Uh, yeah, anyways, the combat in this game is really fun, and I don't want to give the impression that... Oh, fuck. And most of the enemies are pretty fun to fight. That... That fucking dog, not so much. But, uh, yeah, playing it on easy, knowing that this is really meant more to uh, get the Wyatt side of the story, it just inspires me to move pretty quickly and do things fast. So I don't want to give the impression that I'm tired of this game or think the combat isn't good or something like that from uh, these videos, because I think it's actually fantastic. But, that said... We will have to continue that conversation with Diesel in the next episode, and I will see everyone then. Bye.